Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Google has released Pelly Gemma's new version and in this video we are going to install it locally and we will see how this Pelly Gemma works. I have been covering this Pelly Gemma series of models for a long time now. If you just go to my channel and search with Pelly Gemma, you would see that I covered the first model when it was released around 9 months ago and it was quite a performant model at that time. Pelly Gemma does the usual stuff around the vision models like OCR, long captioning, short captioning, visual question answering and also the detection and segmentation. So let's check it out how this new version works out. The thing which looks different about this model by the way is that this seems to be a fine-tuned version on a mixture of academic tasks using a lot of different images. Also another interesting bit is that this model is still under training, but they have released few of the weights so that we could test it out. So let's try and see how this thing works. Also, another thing is that as you can see that this is a gated model, which means that you would need to log into Hugging Face. If you don't have an account there, just create a, create a free account. Then go to this Pally Chama's Hugging Face card and log in and ac accept the terms and condition. I already have done it on my other uh, window, so I will be downloading it. but the difference between the gated and ungated models in terms of installation is that you would need to log into Hugging Face and I will also show you how you can do that. So let's try to install it. Let me also give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable prices, you can go to the video's description, get the link to their website. I am also going to give you a 50% discount coupon on range of GPUs. So this is my Ubuntu system and the GPU which I am going to use is this one NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me quickly create a virtual environment and then we will begin the installation of all the prerequisites and stuff. Okay, now let's install all the prerequisites which include torch, transformers and all the usual stuff. And this is going to take a couple of minutes. So let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel AI is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. So it is almost there. Let's wait. Okay, so everything is installed. Let's log into the Hugging Face. And for that, just run this Hugging, hugging Face CLI login. It is going to ask you for the read token. And you can grab that token for free from your profile in Hugging Face website. And then you can see that the login is successful here. So let's launch our Jupyter Notebook in order to download and play with this model to see how it works. Okay, let's grab our model first. So we are just getting this Pelly Gemma's 10 billion. And by the way, there are other variants of this model too, which you can check on your Hugging Face card. And I will drop the link to it in video's description. So the model is getting downloaded. And this is a bit of a pleasant surprise that the model size is 10 billion, yet the tensors are just 4. Normally, 4 tensors are for 7 billion to 8 billion models. So I'm, this is quite good. Hopefully, it is going to also take less VRAM once it is running, but we will check it out. Okay, so the model is downloaded. Let's try to do the inference. So first up, I'm just going to ask you to describe a local image on my system. So this image is an old photo of the city of Lahore in Pakistan. So let's see if it is able to do that. By the way, I'm also going to do a bit of an OCR, but let's first see if it can um, describe this image. And one thing which you need to make sure in order to get the optimal performance from this Pelly Gemma model is that you need to specify uh, the prompt in a particular way. For example, um, in this prompt template, you can see that I'm describing the image. It gives longer, more descriptive options. If you just want to do the caption, you can simply do cap or caption. I will describe the uh, difference shortly. And similarly, it goes for OCR and other sort of stuff. So let's first describe it. And then 
you can see that i'm also specifying the en which is a language code for english let's run it and see what it produces okay so it took around five minutes to come back and i'm not exaggerating and the answer which i have received is in this image we can see a black and white picture of a group of buildings trees and a wall now answer is correct but i was expecting from a 10 gp model to be more descriptive and it would give more uh, sort of um I would say rich response but anyway maybe it is just for captioning and that sort of stuff now if you closely look at this image on this right hand side on this tree it's written fort lahore let's see if it can extract that maybe i'm being too hard on this but it's a google model and it's quite i would say 10 gp model should be more descriptive anyway it says fort lamor now let's check the h again so it should have extracted h there that is not that uh, hard written even i think a is even more like it's uh, not that i would say complete as compared to h it has got the h wrong here but it was speed maybe the first time it was just doing a lot of stuff and getting warmed up so speed issue is resolved but i think it got those here wrong here anyway let's try out another image okay so in the next one i'm just going to check out the captioning so i'm just giving it this local image so first i'm just using this cap now there are two types of captions one is a raw short caption from web uh, l alt data set i believe so let's see how it goes with the smaller caption for this let me run this let me also show you vram consumption so it is close to 20 gig of vram which for a 10 billion model is um, expected i would say so let's wait for it to create a caption for this image and there you go so it has given us the caption as you can see here and if i just display the image too so it is saying that in this image we can see a man and a woman the man is wearing a white collar suit white color suit and the woman is wearing a white color dress in the background we can see trees so caption is uh, good now this caption is a short caption with web uh, alt which is a data set and and it's a, just a data set of images with alt text caption by the way which is specifically designed for alt text captions if you just make it bigger like caption n and run it it is going to give us the coco style caption which is a common object in con context and Coco is a large scale data set of images with object annotations and captions. And it contains over 120,000 images, by the way, the Coco. So let's uh, wait and see how it goes with this uh, longer caption. And there you go. So it is telling us about in this image the same thing. I don't think there is a much difference there as far as the answer is concerned. Okay, anyway, let's try another one. In the next one let's check out the visual question answering so i'm doing it in this format answer language and then my question so my question for the image is how many kangaroos in image the correct answer is three so let's see if it is able to do that and there you go it has det detected it and it is the answer is correct it says three pretty good and this one is one of my favorite so what happens is you ask a question language and then you just give it an answer it checks the image and then returns you the question for it now it says here yes so that's uh, i would say the detection is quite good in this case now another thing which you can do you can even just go with the detect uh, object like for example if you just want to detect something you will say detect and then you will uh, name the object name let me try it on one of the images so for example if i just run this that detect car it is going to return me the bounding boxes as you can see in the output similarly you can also segment the objects like simply doing segment car and then running it it is also going to segment the car so Primarily in segmentation, it locates the area occupied by the object in an image 
to create an image segmentation for that object so let's wait for it to come back there you go so it has done the segmentation of the image which you can use it in your code or there are various tools which you can use with it so not bad i would say speed is slightly longer takes a bit of a time and other than that looks good let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching